the last couple of years have been really generous for the mobile gamer. While laptops may never be as powerful as their desktop relatives, the competition in the hardware industry has made them a really good option for gaming. Asus seems to be really on it as they pushed one of its best-selling gaming notebooks to the shelves really early on. And although the ROG Strix G17-G713R doesn't look particularly different on the outside, there's a real beast hiding inside. Yes, we're talking about the RTX 3080 Ti with 150 watts of TGP. But before checking out the performance, let's take a quick look at the construction. Depending on the configuration, the laptop weighs 2.5 or 2.8 kilos. This is because of the extra heat pipes inside the more powerful setups. The G17's keyboard can be paired with a per-key RGB backlight, controllable through the Aura app. The unit is good for gaming and features a set of dedicated buttons for media control, as well as an armory crate shortcut. Regarding the ports, the left side houses two full-sized USB ports and an audio jack. The majority of the I.O. is located on the back. There, you can see the charging plug, a 2.5 gigabit LAN port, HDMI 2.0B supporting 4K at 60Hz plus HDR, and two USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. One of them supports power delivery, DisplayPort output, and G-Sync. The ROG Strix G17 comes with two DDR5 RAM slots, which are 50% faster in writing data compared to the DDR4 RAM in last year's model. As for the storage, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, which support the super-fast Gen 4 SSDs. This laptop can be bought with a 144Hz 1080p panel, a 360Hz one, or a 240Hz 1440p IPS display. Since we chose to test the 1440p variant in the G15 review, now we've got the 360Hz variant. Needless to say, it has crazy quick pixel response times, as well as a good contrast ratio and comfortable viewing angles. It covers 96% of sRGB, resulting in attractive visuals, especially for gaming. The battery life of this laptop is outstanding. We got about 12 hours of web browsing, or nearly 10 hours of video playback on a single charge from the 90 watt hour battery pack. Here, the top tier configuration includes a Ryzen 9 6900HX and an RTX 3080 Ti with 16GB of memory and 150 watts of TGP. Yes, ASUS has managed to bump the TGP by 20 watts compared with the G713 2021 model. We'll show you how in a minute. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Blood. <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses they prevent epidemics. Our device is equipped with a 140 watt version of the RTX 3060. While being relatively affordable, it still manages to run The Witcher 3 at around 100 FPS at ultra settings. Battlefield 5, on the other hand, runs comfortably at max settings with about 150 FPS at 1080p. Thankfully, the keyboard is well insulated and only reaches 39 degrees after more than 30 minutes of gameplay. This is thanks to the upgraded ArcFlow fans with 84 blades, and of course, not without the help of the liquid metal compound used for cooling the CPU. Yes, the ROG Strix G17 might not have a camera above its display, but we trade it for the MUX switch any day. The latter allows your graphics card to communicate directly with the screen, resulting in higher FPS and full performance extraction from the hardware. And you won't find it in many gaming notebooks. After all, performance is the most important thing you need as a gamer. Oh, yeah, and you can watch that performance on a 360Hz display, which is so fast that your eyes can't keep up.
Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.